Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to save material presets in Octane Render with Cinema 4D. Now I'm going to be showing the top three ways of how to, set, how to save a material preset in Cinema 4D and Octane. Now I am going to show the first two first that really don't work as well, but I want you to understand why. And then we're going to end with what, in my opinion, is the very best way of saving a material preset. Now to start, just some background. Here is a object that I made. It's an hourglass for daily 358. And this was an extremely complex um, object, or not really object, but material, is I have, this is made up of one massive mixed material, this whole entire hourglass, I call it hourglass of time, potion of time actually, it's like a giant potion of time with like a little clock on the top, for like the little little seal thing up there, the little cap I guess you'd call it. And this is one mega material for each color that's actually emitting light. It's incredible the complexity that you can create with an octane material. So I actually have it layered off because it's such a complex shader. And it actually takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 total materials, counting the mixed material, for this all to work. So I'm going to select my mixed material, double click it, check out my node editor just so we can take a look at the insaneness of how many materials and mixed materials that we have all running. I'm not going to go into detail how about I made this. I just want you to see that here it is. It's all here. How are we going to save this? Because I don't want to have to make this from scratch because it took me about three hours to build that. So here is how we can save this. The first way is if we go to our content browser, we double click presets. You're going to have a folder called Octane in here somewhere. Notice I don't have one. And this is because I've never saved a material yet. The way I do it is I simply double click my material. I go to my node editor. I zoom in on the very topmost material that I would like to save, and that would be this one, Mega Matte. That's why I named it. And you just simply right click the material and click Save Preset. Now, if you take a look over here on the far right, there should have loaded in an Octane thing in here somewhere. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, and it just gets really, really buggy. And it looks like this time it didn't load it in. And quite honestly, most of the time it doesn't. So this is way one. I don't recommend it. Even though it's there, I do not recommend it. Now, another option you could do, and this way will work, it's foolproof, but it does have some bugs, is I'm just going to go open into any folder I want. I'm going to right click, make a um, new folder, and I'm just going to call this test for tutorial. I'm going to open it up, and I simply drag and drop the material I'd like into it. This will save it. Here we go, Mega Matte has now been saved. Let's go ahead and pull Mega Matte out and see what happened to it. I'm going to pull it out, put it in here. I have to go to All Material or No Layer. And our Mega Matte that we just saved right here, this is it. And I still select it, it pulls it up into my editor, and here it is. This is all that came over. Just the top level. When you save it this way, it will only save the very top level of the material and will not bring over any of the other materials that are underneath it. So if I had a or sorry not if I had a basic material underneath this mega mat, all the materials underneath it are lost. They're dead. They don't exist anymore. All you got was this. Well that's not helpful at all. That's junk. So here is the way that you actually save it that brings everything over. The foolproof, 100% guarantee, best way in my opinion. Here's all you have to do. Go up to Materials in your Octane Layout. And I do want to point out, this is just my Octane Live Viewer. You can get this same thing. I'm going to turn it off. Is if you go to Octane, Octane Live Viewer, and I'm going to change my layout real quick to the standard just to walk you guys through how you do it. You go Octane, Live Viewer. Here it is. We click on Materials, and we go to Octane Live DB. We're going to select that. And you've probably have already played around in here pretty cool before. It's got a lot of cool things. We have a lot of presets from Octane that you can go through and check out all that great stuff. But if you click on Local DB, right down here at the very bottom, we have this blank slate. There's nothing going on in here. What's super cool is if I select the top material in my hierarchy, this mix material has all these materials under it. I simply select it, drag it in, release, it is in. So, we have saved it. Let's go ahead, let's make a new scene. I'm going to do Control N. Here's a blank new scene. I'm going to go ahead, take this material, drag it down, see what happens? Nothing happens. You cannot drag this onto things. The way you get it is you select the material and you click Download. 
and it will download your entire materials. Now, please be aware you're not actually downloading this from the internet or anything. It's actually saved on your hard drive at a certain location. It's where the local DB is stored. And um, check the um, description in this comments. I'll show you in that description length the directory where it normally stores that. So feel free to um, check the description of this video where I uh, show you where that's actually stored if you need to go check that out. Usually you don't have a need to go ahead and do that, but it's an option if you'd like. But now, if I select my topmost material, double click it, check my node editor, here everything is, and it has decided to reorganize it, which is kind of a bummer, but it at least is over the, all over. So it's not a perfect fix, but at least it brings everything over. So now it does work, and I can apply this material, of course, to anything, and it will function. So if I create a sphere, go ahead, grab my topmost material, slap it on, and I go ahead and pop up my octane layout and I click render. Here you go. The projection is not set up correctly, but I'd have to go in and rework that. But there you go. It is actually projecting all those colors and everything has come over correctly. So thank you all so much for watching my tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did find it helpful, please leave a thumbs up. And if you didn't find it helpful, please feel free feel free to um, leave a thumbs down. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to say so in the comments. Let me know if you have any trouble. I love trying to help people out with this kind of stuff. Definitely feel free. And if you really felt like um, you enjoyed this tutorial and you'd like to leave a little kickback, head over to my website, or not my website, check in the description to check out my uh, YouTube page here, and you can go ahead and leave a donation there if you'd like. But thanks again so much, guys, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.